A groundbreaking treatment for the most common form of muscular dystrophy has been approved by the FDA. And in today's Family First, we look at how this gene therapy is providing new hope for the 20,000 children globally diagnosed with a life-threatening disease each year. Plus, how it has made a significant impact on the first children to receive it in clinical trials. Easton Reed and Connor Stoll live hundreds of miles apart, but they share many of the same challenges. He had a hard time keeping up in sports and couldn't run quite as fast as the other kids. It wasn't uncommon for him to have bumps and bruises on his head because he, he fell a lot. Both boys have Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, a genetic disease that leaves families with few options and little hope. And when we did the research, it was so very scary to think what Easton's future might look like. Dr. Jerry Mandel has dedicated his career to working with his team at Nationwide Children's Hospital to better understand and treat this progressive neuromuscular disease. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a severe life-threatening and devastating disease. They lose ambulation in, t in teenage years and then early death. Connor and Easton were among the first participants in a clinical gene therapy trial to correct the function of the gene that causes DMD. Five years after receiving this single gene therapy infusion, both boys have maintained their mobility, something that's rare in kids with DMD at this age. We started noticing that stairs were a little bit easier for him to climb. And for the first time, Easton and Connor's families are seeing new possibilities. This therapy gave Easton his childhood and and let him be a little boy. We're able to, to visualize his future and what he could become and everything that he could be great at. Now thousands of others who feared their children would slowly succumb to the disease have hope for a longer, healthier future. We tell him all the time he's done remarkable things and what he's doing is helping boys everywhere. Well, doctors are continuing to learn more about the long-term effects and benefits of this gene therapy. There's also supplemental treatments for kids like Connor and Easton, and those are being developed further to slow the disease progression and improve mobility.